Now, off the bat, I do want to say that this tutorial is kind of tricky, and it did take me a couple tries to actually get it to really work a thousand percent. So I want to tell you guys that just to let you know that it's not one of those things where I did it wrong, I'm never gonna do it right. It took me a couple tries, so redo it, rewatch this video, and a thousand percent I know it will work. I went to GameStop today, and I have to say this as a disclaimer: I bought this game so that I could back it up on my PlayStation 4. It's an old game, it was cheap, just so I could show you guys for a tutorial. To start off this tutorial, that's all you want to do is just go to your settings. You want to go down till you see power save settings. And you want to copy the settings that I have because we do not want the console turning off, going into sleep mode, going into rest mode, whatever it is. You want to make sure that that console does not turn off for any type of reason. The really main one that I want you guys to know is that you have to make sure that you have supply power to USB ports at always. Because remember, we are dumping the actual game disc to our USB stick. Now, once you have all of this done, we want to back out to our game. I already have my disc in my system, so I'm just going to start it up. Obviously, all type of games are different, so you want to remember that you have to kind of work around it. That's why I said it kind of it's one of those things where you get it, you understand it, and you're going to start to do it. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the main menu, right? So you want to wait, like, wait for the game to load up right to the main menu. As you can see, like I'm just going to load into it. Give it a couple minutes. Once you're at the main menu, you want to press the middle button. And we're going to go to our exploit or our web kit, right? And we're going to go to the internet browser. We want to go to 5.05, .05, which is the firmware. If you guys are not on 5.05, .05, I will have a link or a card in the top right of the corner that comes out to show you how to get on 5.05. .05. The next thing you want to do is, is press dumper. Now, once this says success or done, we are going to press back on this, uh, the PlayStation button and we are going to go back to the game. Now this will take a while and let me explain what's going to happen. Now, as you can see, the little icons at the top left are telling us that it is actually copying the game over to our USB stick. You have to remember that this does take time since it is a disc going to the USB. Discs usually kind of take a while and that's even on PlayStation 3. So just don't be afraid about the fact that how long it takes. Your console will shut off after it is done at 100% and just remember that. That's how you know it will be done. Now, once the game is done transferring over to your USB stick since your system has shut down, I cut mine off short, by the way, so I will end up getting an error through this tutorial. Now, the couple things to go over. How you know you did it correctly is when you have a file that says complete at the end at the bottom. The app is the game, the patch is the update, which is, you know, common knowledge. So we're going to be focusing on the app. Everything I use, such as software, files, folders, will all be in the links in the description, so you could go check that out. The first folder we're going to be opening is Gen GP4. Then we're going to be opening the application. We're going to hit this little folder icon. And we're up. Oh, it, it went on my other screen. We are then we're going to go down. We're going to go to where you dump the uh, the game at right the USB stick that you have and we're going to press on app which is the game itself. Then we want to press OK. You want to press generate GP4. I'm going to get an error. Oh, actually, it, it did it did done this time. Actually, this might actually be the full game. You'll know when the file is done if it says done, right? It, that's that's how, that's how you know when it's done. At the bottom of the script, it will say done. And you want to press save GP4. Just save it wherever, you know, where you have the other files. Save it, it will say done. You could X that out. That's perfectly fine. X this out. Perfectly fine. We want to go to fake PKG tools, right? We're going to put that to the right a little bit and we are going to go to Orbis Pub Gen. This is where it gets fun. The first thing you want to do is, is you want to go to file open. You want to open our GP4 file that we just created. The next you want to go to is command then project settings. And you want to go to package. And you want to make sure that the passcode is all zeros, right? Now you should have the content ID. It will come up a thousand percent. If the password is anything but all zeros, delete it, then just hold zero on your keyboard and that's it. You want to press OK after that. And then now we want to press build. And we're going to put the output for the game, right? So we want to press select. And then we could just press save there. And then you want to press build. What this is creating is a PKG file. So we are able to then take this USB stick out with the PKG on it, then put it back into our PlayStation 4, then download the game through the package installer tab in the debug settings to the PlayStation 4. Okay, so now since it is done, we could just close all of this out, 
close it all out close it all out and i'm going to show you guys actually how you take this file and you install it to your playstation 4. i just want you guys to remember if you don't have disc games i'll have another card up to the top right now and i just want to let you guys know i've made a tutorial on how to get free games on the internet and it's a lot easier they come as pkg files sometimes they come as isos but you could look up tons of tutorials on YouTube on how to change an ISO for a PlayStation 4 to a PKG. Like, there's actual programs to do that for you. But yeah, check out that tutorial if you have games that you want that you don't have on disc. Once you guys are on your PlayStation 4 with your USB stick plugged in with your package file that we created on our computer, we want to start up our exploit to make sure that we can get into our debug settings to install our package file. So we're going to go to our exploit section 5.05. .05, Go to HEN, enable that. Might error if it does, we could always restart the console. That usually solves it for me. I always recommend that for people just because, but we got a success. After that, you want to hit the middle button. After hitting the middle button, you're going to see that the games are still locked. If you have any like already downloaded games, you want to go to settings. We want to go all the way down to debug settings. We want to go to game and we want to go to package installer and we are going to find the package that we created that iso basically file the, the the disk image right we created that into the iso right into like a disk image file then created that file into a package file yeah it's it's actually pretty fast a lot of times it will take a while just be cautious it depends about what kind of usb stick you have as you guys can see we have and my games are unlocked now we have nba 2k16 which is the this game that I have, I want to prove it to you guys. We turn this disc into a backup game basically on our PlayStation 4 that is exploited. If you guys want to find out how to jailbreak your PS4, at the top of the right hand corner, there should be like a little white icon you could hit. You could also go check out my PS4 jailbreak playlist, my PS3 jailbreak playlist. I have a whole bunch of tutorial videos if you guys want to get into that kind of stuff. I appreciate you guys watching this video, and if you guys could leave it a like, it really does help out a lot of other people to know if it was a good tutorial or not. I hope you guys all have a fucking amazing day, though. Peace out, homies.